This video is going to show you how to use Excel to do a break-even analysis, including drawing a break-even analysis graph. To start, I recommend that you set up your Excel looking exactly like this. The formulas that I use rely on things being in the same cells as they are here. So having units, fixed costs, variable costs, total costs and revenue across here along the number four, having variable costs, selling price and fixed costs here in the G column and having the break even point uh, in, this, in this column here. Once you've got those things set up, you need to put some formulas into your graph. The first formula you need to put in is for the fixed costs. To put this formula in, you need to say, I want this number to come from whatever I put in this box here as my fixed costs into H3. By putting the dollar signs there, I, I make sure that when I copy this down, that it will always have the same number in there. With variable costs, what I want to do is multiply the number of units here in A5 times whatever the variable cost here is in H1. You'll need to put dollars H dollar sign 1 multiplied by A5 in order to get this cell to work. The total cost is just going to be the sum of the fixed costs plus the variable costs. So it's just equals B5 plus C5. We don't put the dollar signs in here because when we want to calculate the next row down, we want it to add up B6 plus C6, and Excel will do that automatically for us if we don't put the dollar signs in there. Finally, in this section, I'm going to put revenue. Revenue is going to be the selling price of my item multiplied by how many units I sell. So the selling price is going to be here in H2, which I need to use dollar signs for, multiplied by A5 without the dollar signs. I've just put in a break-even point and I'll show you the importance of that later on, but the break-even equation is fixed costs divided by selling price minus variable costs. And so that's just simply the fixed costs in H3 divided by H2 minus H1, the selling price minus the variable cost. So I've had a very simple example of if I had a store where I sold t-shirts and the store cost me $100 to rent and that was my only fixed cost. I sold the t-shirts in this store for $20 each and the t-shirts cost me $10 each as my only variable cost. Immediately you'll see that the fixed cost has been put in straight away and the total cost has been uh, put in straight away. The break even point has been, uh, has been calculated here saying in order to break even I would need to sell 10 t-shirts. That's important because I need to have this as part of my break even equation. So over here in the units I want to make sure that 10 is one of the, the units of t-shirts. If I wrote 0, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, my graph isn't going to look right. And if I wrote 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it would also uh, not work out. So I need to be uh, smart with this about how I'm going to space this out. So if I was to do 0, 5, 10, which is my break-even point, 15, and 20, then that's a pretty good start for what I want to do. We need to have a look at this function here that says fill. By clicking on this square here, holding it and dragging it down, and then clicking on fill, fill down, then this number H3, which is the fixed costs, will just transfer all the way down here. So it just says H3 in every cell now. My variable cost is, each t-shirt cost me $10, so that's H1, multiplied by however many units I sell, in this case A5. Because I've put zero units here and it's important to start at zero, then variable costs are going to be zero. Total costs, these two things together, will, will be, uh, be equal to 100. And because I've sold no t-shirts, my revenue, which is the selling price, multiplied by how many units I sold, H2 multiplied by A5, it's going to be equal to zero. If I fill this down, 
my variable cost is going to increase with the number of t-shirts I sell. My total cost, I'm going to fill that down. And that's also going to increase. It's going to add their 100 in the fixed cost plus the variable cost at each level. And now if I put my revenue and fill that down, it's going to calculate the revenue at each point uh, for the amount of units I sold multiplied by the selling price. So this will give me here my break-even point, which I know should be 10 t-shirts. At 10 t-shirts, my total cost is 200, my total revenue is 200, and therefore now I am breaking even. What I would like to do is to show that as a graph. So if I'm going to insert, if I go to recommended charts, it will show me, uh, sorry, I need to select this data first. So I want to draw a graph of this area here. So I need to highlight that area. And if I go to recommended charts, it will come up with a number of graphs. And if I was to scroll down through them, I'm going to see there's lots of ones here, but there's one that looks like a break-even analysis, and that's this one here. And this break-even analysis is showing that the yellow line of revenue and the grey line of total cost intersect at 10 t-shirts. I can go in here and label these axes, put a chart title here, and I can copy this whole area. And then I can just paste that into a Word document and have a, a good-looking break-even analysis in my business plan. So that's a very, very simple break-even analysis, but I'll show you now that if I was to uh, work out that my fixed costs for my business are going to be $25,984, I'm selling items for $17.99, and each item costs me $8.50. Everything gets calculated out for me automatically. It tells me here my break-even point is 2,739 products. I need to sell that 2,739th product in order to break even. But my break-even analysis won't work over here because I don't have that number in the units. So the units always have to reflect this here. So this time I might go 0, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. And it will have calculated a break-even analysis. It's somewhere in between here. If I was to highlight this area again and go to my recommended charts, this is my new break-even analysis. And it is showing that my break-even point is here. Uh, and it's just short of 3,000. And I know the exact number. It's that 2,739 uh, items that I need to sell in order to break even. So that's everything you need. Once you have the formula set up, you can play around with your fixed cost, your selling price, your variable cost. You might be doing a, a business plan and looking at this and saying, I don't think I can sell that many units. Uh, I need to re-look at the way that I'm going to do this. Maybe I can go and reduce some of my costs and I'll say, I think I can get my cost down to $24,000. And maybe I should increase my selling price to $19. And Maybe I can source a cheaper supplier who can find me this product at $8. And so now this has changed my break-even point, and then automatically over here the numbers have already changed. This 2,000 lies in this range here, so it will work. I can select that area, insert, find the break-even chart, and there's my new break-even chart, which as I said, I can go in here and change the chart title, uh, and I can play with the, uh, the other functions of that. I can copy it and it'll paste immediately into a, a Word document from there. All right, so that's how you do a break-even analysis on Excel. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments.